everyone. So we are prepping for Hurricane Irma, which I'm sure that everyone has heard about on the news by now. And I think it's currently a Category 5. Yesterday it dipped to 4, but it's back up. Anyway, we are in the Central Florida area. So we're in Orlando, and we are hunkering down and staying here for a few different reasons. One is that the bus isn't quite ready to move. We've been in the middle of doing a remodel or revamping a few things and so the bus is not prepared to move at all right now. And then the second one is that evacuating is actually really expensive and yeah, the roads are a mess. It's really just a big situation. Gas is running out. It's just been, you know, it's been a problem because the storm covers the entirety of our state. And I'm a native Floridian. I was born and raised here. And Mike came over when he was young. So, you know, yeah, this is where all of our family is and all of that. So basically what we're doing right now, there are a few different things that we are concerned about with the bus during the storm. We are not staying on the bus while it is storming. And you'll have to excuse the light. It's already raining. So the lighting is really bad. And if you hear something, that's the rain on the roof. So basically what we are doing right now, because there are a few different things that we're worried about. We're looking at hurricane force winds, worst case scenario, tropical storm force winds, best case scenario, which would be great. I definitely would not be complaining about that at all. But there are a few different things and a lot of rain. That's what we're looking at. So we are concerned about the windows in the event that either a really strong gust comes through and pushes the windows in and then we start getting water damage from the rain coming in. Something busts through a window, breaks it, and then we get water damage. I don't know how well the windows will hold up to hurricane force wind and rain, so we could get leaks in them anyway. We've got one window that kind of likes to fall sporadically, so that could be a thing. You know, the windows are really only held on with metal clips, so it could be an issue for that. And then water getting in. We still have a leaky hatch that we've got tarped, but tarps generally don't hold up in the rain, so, or not in the rain, in a hurricane with the winds and everything. So, yeah. So what we're doing is we're packing everything off of the bus that we can. Everything that we don't want to risk getting wet, so all of our electronics, our books, clothing, stuff that'll really get damaged if it gets wet, stuff that can be removed. And we are taking it inside my mother's house and keeping it up off the floor in the event that it floods. And then we are going to move the bus back sort of around the house. Our house is like an L-shaped. My mom's house is an l shape, And the big broad side faces the west and the west kind of coming in through the western side is where you tend to get the strongest winds in a hurricane so we're going to move the bus back in that little covered area and it should be sheltered from the worst of the hurricane winds which would be good there are no big trees around there there's not a whole lot of stuff that can really go flying into it so since we don't have access to a garage that's big enough to fit the bus that's pretty much the best place that we can put it right now so and then we are taking all of our stuff. We basically got go bags prepped with changes of clothing. We've got boatloads of water. We've got a lot of food. We've got supplies for Finn. We have got all of our electronics and our cameras, firearms, all of that kind of stuff is coming with us sort of in like a bug out bag. And we are going to my sister's house, which is a concrete block structure. She's got no big trees around her. They're boarding up the windows. It's not in a floodplain. It's probably one of the safest places that we can be in the area and we are going to wait the storm out with them and with my sister and my brother-in-law. And yeah, we're basically just going to uh, drink and play games and watch Ancient Aliens until the power goes out. So that is the plan. On the plus side, I've been through several hur hurricanes because I have been in Florida all my life. Mike has been through a couple of hurricanes, I think. The bus is like 20 years old and it's been through hurricanes, even in this area. We have never been through a hurricane, all of us together, so this will be a new experience definitely, but on the plus side, we all know not to do a lot of the incredibly dangerous and stupid things that some people do during hurricanes. We're not going to have a lot of crazy hurricane party, we're not going to attempt to do skateboarding or windsurfing in the hurricane, <laughs> and you know, 
we're basically going to be smart about it and see how it goes. So it is Saturday today and we are expecting tropical storm force winds sometime tonight and then it'll get progressively worse through Sunday and into Monday. So that is what we're looking at. Worst case scenario is the eye comes right over Orlando and it's been a very long time since that has happened and like max strength I think would be a category three because of all the land that it's got to cover in between then so that would suck hopefully it's not that bad so yeah we will we'll see how it goes but we've got to pack everything up we've got to move over to my sister's house and yeah we've got a lot of stuff to do today so we'll check in periodically see how the hurricane is going for central florida and uh yeah wish us luck Oh my god, look at how naked this is. Alright, I'm gonna go check in on the bus.
Okay, we just got back to the bus. The curfew was list lifted in our county uh, earlier than anticipated, which was good. So we are back home and the bus actually did really well, which is so good. I was really, uh, really worried about it because the wind shifted and it was coming in from the south. And so the bus was taking a broadside, which uh, was alarming, but it's okay. We've lost half of a window. The top half of one of our windows is broken. And um, actually I put this like heat reflective film on it and that's about the only thing that held the window together, but it's totally shattered. Um, our leaky hatch did really well, actually. Um, I don't really see any evidence of water coming in. The tarp is like partially attached to the bus and it lasted better than I thought it was going to, but... But it is remarkably dry in here, which is good. And, um, yeah, so all in all, the bus is actually looking uh, way, way better than I thought it was going to be. So I am really excited about that. Last night was not a fun night at all. We went to my sister's place, we boarded up all of the windows, and we waited it out. We lost power at about 8, 8 o'clock in the evening, and we are still without power. So, yeah. Um, if Charlie in 2004 is anything to go by, my sister will get power back probably today or tomorrow. And us at my mom's house where the bus is, it's probably going to be about two weeks before we get power back. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But, yeah, so last night, you know, we were getting the track shifted again. And so we ended up being on the dirty side of the hurricane, which is sort of that, like, north-northeast quadrant. And that's where you get all of the tornadoes usually that spawn. That's why it's called the dirty side. And um, so we had a tornado watch in effect for pretty much most of yesterday. And then we had warnings roll in, kind of like one right after the other. And um, yeah, we set up basically like a little shelter in one of their interior hallways and had a mattress, uh, you know, and we played cards and waited it out. So, and then when it shifted more westward, we started getting really strong gusts, so I think we probably ended up with... Because we were... Originally we were anticipating like Category 3, making landfall in Orlando, which would have sucked. Um, and then it was just supposed to be tropical force, tropical storm force winds. And then it shifted westward again, so we were looking at Cat 1 to Cat 3 winds. So we did get some really strong gusts. Trees came down over there. Um, they have some roof damage, and... Uh, yeah, but all in all, it's pretty good. We taped up the windows, and I think that actually really helped out really significantly. So, um, yeah. So, that is pretty much that. That's, you know, Hurricane Irma. But all in all, better than anticipated. <laughs>